I'm literally like kind of sweaty. Obviously the whole freaking book is a red flag. Hello my bookworms, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney. Today's video will be a weekend reading vlog mixed in with some pretty big house renovation updates. So hey, what's up? How are you? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me for a little bit. If you have missed some of the house renovation vlogs, then I will put them down below in the description because this might look pretty different because it is. We now have a kitchen floor. It is absolutely stunning. And I show the in-depth version of like how it was created, how Caleb and I, mostly Caleb, slaved over it from start to finish. And it's really fun, a really fun vlog that should be out by now. <laughs> but this vlog in particular, I am doing a weekend readathon with my Patreon while also doing house renovation things. So what's happening today, let's start there. <laughs> is our kitchen cabinets are being delivered. Do you believe it? Because I don't. So what's going on with the kitchen cabinets is that if we ordered the exact ones that we wanted, it would be a 14 to 18 week wait for them to even be potentially delivered to us. So we had to finagle some things. The kitchen cabinets, the style that we really wanted from this certain website, whatever, is not important. And it's not in the color we wanted. It's We just ordered white. We ordered white cabinets because then when they get here, we'll just sand the cabinets and then paint them the exact color that we want. It's it's a little bit of extra work, but it was either we wait one week to get our cabinets and put in a little extra, you know, elbow grease, or we wait 20 weeks and then it's like almost time for our wedding. <laughs> so that's very exciting. Our cabinets are being delivered today. They'll be in boxes, like we have to assemble them, but we are getting like the bones of them. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully by the end of this vlog, I can't even handle it. I can't even handle it. We will be able to show you things in our kitchen, like cabinets and our appliances might even be put in place. The, the cabinets probably won't be the color we want yet, but they will at least be like assembled and like in place ready for paint, which is super exciting. I can't even believe that like that's a potential thing for me to see this weekend. It's very crazy. And so another thing that we're doing today is obviously we have to paint the walls before we can hang any cabinets or anything like that. So we have all of our paint right here that we are going to be, you know, painting the walls and the trim. And it's all very exciting. While I'm painting, I will be starting a new book. I will be starting City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. I really am enjoying this series, especially while renovating the house because it's an interesting and fun world to be in that doesn't require like all my brain power to pay attention to know what's happening. So like I can effectively, you know, paint a wall or sand some floors while listening to the story. And it helps me pass the time while also being productive. But yeah, I hope to get some really good pages in today as well because later today, focus on me, please. Later tonight, I'm doing some reading sprints with my patrons. So I want to try to get a head start, get some pages in this morning morning while I'm painting and then we get our kitchen cabinets. I can't even wait. But yeah, that's it. Welcome to the vlog. Thank you for being here. Let's go. freshly showered and sprints are already underway here on uh, the Patreon. I have the, my nice little desk set up <laughs> so that I can be cozy on the couch, obviously. <laughs> Caleb and I ended up having to run to the hardware store to get some staples to put together the cabinets. So all I ended up getting done today was cutting in around the corners and by the ceiling with the paint, you know? <laughs> so tomorrow I will actually use the roller and do like the walls. But regardless, we are back home now just going to be 
reading for the night. I ended up drinking a little bit over halfway of that uh, cold brew coffee and it's already like 6.30 p.m. So I am obviously feeling good, feeling great, ready for a night of reading. And I am actually picking up a different book. So I started reading City of Fallen Angels while I was cutting in doing the painting. But while I'm sitting here reading, I actually am going to be picking up Ow. <laughs> that just like went into my mouth. I'm actually going to be picking up Verity by Colleen Hoover. This is my book club pick of the month. Um, if you didn't know how my book club works is I set up like a poll every month so that everyone has a say in what we're reading. And the one that is picked most is obviously the main book club pick. And that was Verity this month. I was very surprised, <laughs> but I have never read Colleen Hoover. This will be my first book by her. Um, and I've heard that this book is crazy. So I am excited. I literally just started it. I'm on chapter two, but I just wanted to pop on and say, hey, hi, what's up? The weekend is underway. And oh, I didn't even say, obviously you saw in the B-roll, the cabinets did come and they're all packaged up and it will require some work, obviously, to put them together. But we already knew this and we are like super, super happy with the quality. We weren't expecting the wood to actually be like solid wood. We thought that it would be like, you know, like plywood or I don't know, whatever Caleb said is less good than what we got, but we were expecting it to be of lesser quality. So we're super stoked about how nice the cabinets are and all of the hinges are soft clothes, which is like my only requirement. <laughs> so we're very excited. Today has been kind of slow, but successful because we didn't get too, too much done, but it was still a good day. So we'll take what we can get. We still have two more full days of the weekend to get a lot more done. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to settle back and keep reading. Hello, I have made it to page 234 of Verity. I am for sure finishing it tonight. I only have like 40 minutes left of it on the audiobook and we're doing our final sprint of the evening. Uh, so I will definitely finish it in this sprint, but um, I just needed to verbally say before I finish this book that it has me in a complete chokehold. This story is so addicting. The way that it goes from like the present day of Lowen trying to learn about Verity life and finish her series is interesting enough, but the fact that it keeps going to and from the actual manuscript that she's reading, because Lowen finds like an autobiography that Verity has written that she doesn't believe that anyone was ever going to read. So it's like brutally honest. It's really dark. It's really messed up. And it's like a train wreck. It's like, I cannot put it down. And it's so good. But I mean, like right now it feels like it's going to be a five-star read. That's how I'm feeling about it. Um, but it's all going to depend on how it ends. And I'm so nervous about it. I'm, so, <laughs> I'm literally like kind of sweaty because this book is just making me like on the edge of my seat. It's super creepy. And like I said, it's super dark, but like, I don't know, my annotations are all just like, what the heck is going on? And I'm not ready. I'm not ready to see how this is ending, but like, I'm also, I need to see it like ASAP. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go finish. Finished Verity by Colleen Hoover. Um, this was a wild like five hours or however long it took me to read this. I don't know, but I started and finished it during those reading sprints. But this book I was very, very surprised with. I think that it was entirely addictive while reading it. During like our 47 minute sprints, which is annoying, which is what I do. It literally felt like I was reading for 10 minutes and I got really upset when the sprint was over because I had to stop reading. <laughs> and I want to say some spoilery things. So why while this little thing is up on the screen and you don't want to be spoiled, maybe skip ahead until it disappears. But one thing that I really don't love in thrillers is when at the end the author will like not validate but will like make all of the creepy things or make something within the story make sense or do you know what I'm trying to say? What am I trying to say? Trying to rush rationalize right especially if it's like a paranormal style thriller and they will like rationalize or make 
not ex- maybe excuses for all of like the creepy things that have been going on. Not so much in this book because obviously it's not paranormal, but the way that it ends, obviously if you're watching this, you don't care about spoilers. They ended with Verity's note saying that like her manuscript was all like a writing exercise, like her making her whole life story like very villainous so that she can practice getting into the mind of the villains since all of her books were written from a villain's perspective. Now it goes two ways because obviously part of it is we don't know if she was pretending while in her manuscript or during this note to Jeremy. It's also alluding to that they killed Verity when maybe she didn't deserve to die and maybe it was all just like a misunderstanding. But at the same time, maybe a third way is that it alluded to that Jeremy knew about everything anyways. Like, he already read the whole manuscript, and our main character, Lowen, like, presented the manuscript to him, and he obviously pretended like he had never read it before, so that's a red flag. Obviously, the whole freaking book is a red flag. And now I'm going to backtrack a little bit, because the book didn't exactly try to rationalize all of the things that went on, because it left off in a cliffhanger, kind of in a way where we are left to draw our own conclusions of, well, do we believe that Verity was actually actually the villain and did all of these absolutely terrible, really fucked up things? Or was it actually just a writing exercise and Jeremy's kind of the villain because he believed it, didn't talk to her about it, and actually kind of ended up killing her? And the ending, the more that I sit with it, the more I do actually like it because I feel like I wouldn't know a better way to end this book. An open ending, kind of like draw your own conclusion style to a thriller, I do actually kind of enjoy. I think my only hesitation is the fact that it ended with such a long note from Verity, so it was almost a little bit underwhelming. I think that's my hesitation with it, because the whole book was, like, very fast-paced. There was really high anxiety, like, very creepy moments for me, and I think I was kind of expecting the ending to, like, go out with a bang, where it was more of like a light the fuse and walk away type situation, which again, I'm not entirely mad about. I really did enjoy this book. Um, Very happy with my first Colleen Hoover. I think that this will make me entertain picking up her other books for sure. Uh, And I know that not any of them are like this one at all, which makes me sad because obviously I think that she wrote a really solid thriller, but I think that I would give this like a four and a half out of five. Um, So yeah, very, very happy about it. Very quick read, obviously read it in one sitting and I'm gonna go to bed now (laughs) because we're waking up early again uh, to do more reading sprints. Brought that out of nowhere, that was probably scary. (laughs) But we're waking up to do early morning reading sprints again with my patrons, and then I will be going back over to the house in the afternoon to finish painting. So I will show you that, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go sleep.
Hello, we are obviously back home now after a very exciting day over at the house. As you can see, I painted pretty much all day the walls and the ceilings while Caleb was putting together all of our kitchen cabinets. And at the end, you saw a couple of them put into place for just kind of like practice. Just we really wanted to see what they would look like. And it's so good. Um, that big pantry, I literally, when I got to the house, not on camera, I straight up like started crying <laughs> because I don't know what it is about having that like huge pantry, like double door situation, like almost to the ceiling, but it feels like, like a dream. It feels like something that I don't know why I never thought that I would have and we have it. And it's just crazy to me. It just feels so like luxury. <laughs> I'm kind of beside myself, can't believe that. Um, our kitchen is gonna look like what it's gonna look like. And it's very exciting. Obviously in that space at the end of the B-roll where you saw where we put the cabinets, the space in between the two little ones, that's where the stove is gonna go. And we actually also bought a like one of those stove hoods above it. So right next to the really big pantry, we're gonna have a, a big stove hood, uh, vent hood is what I mean, right? Right next to it. And it's just, again, that's another thing that when that gets put up, it's gonna be game over. I'm going to be a mess. <laughs> but yeah, um, really happy. Stop watching me. <laughs> I, every time I look at you, you're just like, so it was a really, really exciting day. Um, I also just want to take a side note and say how obsessed I am with the fact that the name of the color that we're putting on all of our walls in the house that you saw me painting today, it probably didn't do a great job at capturing the color, but it's like a warm white with like a hint of purple pink-ish. It's almost like a really pale mauve pink white. It's more, it's more white than anything, but like in the right light, it could look like a hint of mauve and it's freaking stunning. The name of it is called Poetic Light and I just, I just love that. <laughs> I just think that it's a it's a good vibe situation. But we came back home, we took Avi for a walk and walked to our local brewery actually. We ordered some pizza, got some beer, and we are actually getting ready to watch Lady Bird. Uh, I'm having a movie night with my patrons for, you know, this little readathon that we that we have going on here. And I'm excited. I haven't seen Lady Bird and I've been we both been wanting to see it, so I was really excited that everyone else also wanted to watch it tonight. Speaking of this readathon, though, uh, while I was painting, I was listening to City of Fallen Angels uh, by Cassandra Clare. I'm about 50% of the way through now, which is super cool. Glad I was able to multitask like that today because during the readathon I'm doing sprints every single day with my patrons but all morning during our morning time sprints I was editing the video that is now uploading for tomorrow so it, it took me a lot longer to finish editing the video than I had previously thought but say la vie that was how my time was spent which was totally fine the video is a feature length film though it's literally like 55 minutes I'm about 50% of the way through City of Heavenly Fire and I just I don't like being in the Mortal Instruments world anymore. I don't know, this is really strange because the first three books I actually had a really good time with. And then I went to The Infernal Devices and I read Clockwork Angel probably a few weeks ago. And I really, really liked the vibe of that book a little bit more. I think because Clary and Jace just weren't part of the story. And I'm not going to, and I know it's a really old series, but I still don't wanna like spoil anything having to do with The Mortal Instruments. But Clary and Jace's relationship just makes me feel feel gross. I just, I just don't like it. And even though we know what we know now in the fourth book, there's still part of me that just like feels icky. <laughs> so it's hard for me to root for them, which feels mean, but I also just like, the only thing that is making me hold on to this story is Simon. I love Simon with my whole heart. So I am just excited to see where his character arc goes. And I'm just glad that we have a point of view from him in this book because he's saving it for me. I don't know if I could get through it. <laughs> yeah, this book is not going super well, especially for being 50% of the way through. I feel like I should be a little bit more excited about it, but I'm not. Uh, but it is a, a relatively shorter book in this series. So 
I'm going to keep reading mostly because I'm reading it for the read along that Derry and Casey and Lisa are doing. Otherwise, I don't know if I would continue right now, but I want to participate in the read along. So I am reading along. <laughs> and it is actually 8.50 right now and the movie night starts in like 10 minutes. So I have to go set that up. Um, it was nice chatting with you. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna have, have a night, some pizza, beer, movie, and just hang out. I'll probably read a little bit more later, perhaps, mayhaps. Um, if not, then I will see you in the morning. obviously a new day. We have been super busy today. It's already 4 p.m. and I would just want to show you what we've been doing. Um, basically we set up all of the cabinets where they're going to be. Besides the uppers, the uppers aren't hung yet, but we set up the kitchen with the appliances of like where the layout is going to be so that we could go back to the hardware store to get like the finishing wood touches to like get rid of the gaps and things. But I can show you the bare bones of the kitchen now. Okay, so we have some plastic hung up here here because Caleb was sanding all of the cabinets while I was painting the walls and stuff. So these drapes will be obviously gone, but just imagine, you know, here's the really, really pretty arch. And then we walk through and we will have our fridge. We're keeping all of the plastic and things on while everything's still under construction because we obviously want to keep them protected, you know? But it's a four door fridge. It's like two French doors for a fridge and freezer. We're very excited. We think it's very cute. And then we'll have obviously three drawer little cabinet section here. This is where the sink is going to be right uh, in front of the window. And we're gonna have a little pendant light hanging over but that's the sink. Our dishwasher is obviously right here. And then if you look to the left, it is the absolutely stunning, huge pantry over on the right uh, with two little triple drawer businesses going on. Our stove, we're gonna have a huge vent hood, which we're very excited about. And then if I walk over here, then we have another like cabinet here. Our microwave is going here and then an upper above the microwave and then another big cabinet over there. But look at it with the floors. Can we just appreciate this? This is absolutely stunning. The blue stuff on the stove is like a plastic wrap to protect it. It won't, it isn't actually blue. I thought it was actually blue when it showed up and I was really concerned. <laughs> but yes, and then we have, this is the color that we're gonna be painting our cabinets. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Just imagine that color green with this floor. Mm, can we talk about it? But wow, yeah, this is huge progress. Uh, very, very excited. This was a very productive weekend. And now I actually have to get back to the house because we are doing our third day in a row of reading sprints for the readathon that I'm doing with my patrons. So this has been a extremely productive weekend here in the house. And I just am so obsessed with this freaking pantry. I can't handle it. Look at how cute it's gonna be. Oh my God. <laughs> but I have to get going. I have to go walk Avi before the sprint and I will either check in later tonight, this evening, or tomorrow morning. Hi, um, welcome back. <laughs> I high-key forgot about this vlog. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the last footage that you saw was the b-roll of me reading Cleopatra and Frankenstein. And if that's the case, then fabulous, then I am not losing my mind. So it is still like the weekend reading vlog and it is just now Monday. And I had planned to vlog a little bit more today, but I have been all over the freaking place today, okay? I had a busy morning, I worked out, and then I got like super emotional. Like I was just feeling so much today. And so I just took the be 
better half of the day and just finished Cleopatra and Frankenstein instead of like doing other things. <laughs> so I finished it. Um, Cleopatra and Frankenstein. You guys, if you haven't read it, if you haven't heard of it, I think you should. It was really, really good. The first like 10, 15 pages or so of it was so funny. It was so funny. And I thought that, wow, like if this is the mood of the whole book, this is going to be absolutely phenomenal. And it absolutely was not the mood of the full book, <laughs> but it was still absolutely phenomenal. The story is about our main characters, Cleo and Frank, and they call each other Cleopatra and Frankenstein. And she's 25 and he's in his mid forties. They end up falling in love and they get married within like six months of knowing each other. And the story is like a character study, basically. It is about their lives together. It is about them as people. It is about their friends' lives. And it was so real. <laughs> it was a very, very real book with no sugar coating. Um, it felt like the most real portrayal of a whirlwind marriage or even just a relationship that I feel like I have ever read because there were there wasn't really one character that you were even rooting for the whole time because you got to see the good and bad parts of literally every single person and that in and of itself made me feel like the book was just so good. So I'm really glad that I ended up picking that up last night and not putting it off and saying, oh, I didn't get to it this month. No, I'm really glad that I read it and it will be one that I recommend for sure. There are trigger warnings for losing a parent, kind of abusive parenting, self-harm, and suicide. So just be aware of that. But it was, it was great. <laughs> and now it is Monday evening. I just filmed my Spin the Bottle TBR. Regardless though, it was a great weekend and a lot of great progress in the house, a lot of good pages in. I wonder how many pages I read. I would say I read at least 800 pages this weekend. So that's absolutely phenomenal. Caleb just got home, if you could hear Avi running. But yeah, that is the end of the vlog. So if you are still watching, then leave the Frankenstein emoji down below in the comments. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I always appreciate your support. And of course, be kind to one another and happy reading. Bye.